What are you telling me, people? Um, I've come a long way. I can't lie. You know what I mean? I've come a long way on my journey. And it's a long way in my reality. And it's like I've just been traveling through dimensions. You know what I mean? Do you know how, like, in space there's, like, different... Like, you can travel to different dimensions and it's... You know what I mean? You can, it's, it feels like I've just been time traveling. You know what I mean? When you're... When you're on scene attention and you go for a long period of time, it feels like it's a, a movie from... Do you know when you, like, start a movie from zero minutes to one hour? It's like I'm in a movie that's just continuing until the day it gets paused. And when that means paused, I mean relapse, bro. That's that's when it pauses, when I relapse. I'm telling you, bro, this feels like I'm in an ongoing movie. In the, That's what it feels like in a hyperbolical time chamber. A movie! I'm telling you, at this point, at this amount of days, you everywhere you go, you just you're like an A-list celebrity, A-list celebrity. No one can't tell you nothing. I'm telling you, bro, you're A-list celebrity everywhere you go. I'm telling you right now. But man, chosen ones, I've got a, I've got a word for you, prophetic word. Ah! It dropped to my spirit, and I just had to come talk about it. You know what I mean? And also, in my reality lately, I can't lie, I've been. Um, I can't lie, but I've been smoking too much. I've been, but I need to stop. I'm actually addicted. I'm addicted. I can't lie. I'm literally. I'm coming to the camera. I'm coming telling you now. Literally, I'm addicted to smoking. Um. And yeah, it's just the withdrawal symptoms. I need to get that over and done with. I'm telling you, I just got an addictive personality. I got addictive personality, so it's like when I take something and I consume it or whatever. When I do it repeat, like a repeatedly amount of times. It's like I re I get addicted to it hard and I'll keep going, bro. This is what I mean. It's like sweets as well. Sweets, you know, sweets you eat, but I'm like the same with that. You know what I mean? I, I like to eat sweets as well. Even though I told myself I'm, I, I need to stop eating them, I still eat them sometimes. You know what I mean? That's what I mean. I just like, bro, my addictions get over me. I can't lie. You know what I mean? But I have to, I'm, this, but I have to fight through. I, 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 I'm fighting through the withdrawal symptoms now. You know what I mean? Man, fuck. It's not easy, I'm telling you. But chosen ones, people are going to reap what they've sown in this season for what they've done to us in the past. you got to understand, everything that these people done to us in the past, they're not getting away with it. Um, just because, I'm telling you, these people are in hiding right now. Everyone's in hiding. You know what I mean? The long way we came, no one's messaged our, no one's messaging our phones, no one's calling us, no one's giving us an update on their life. Literally, people just watching behind closed doors and just in shock. You know what I mean? Because of how far we made it and how far the Lord's just been with us. And bro, these people have come to a realization that we can't be messed with. You know what I mean? We're divinely protected. You gotta understand. When you have the Lord with you, and no, no one can get over on you. I'm telling you, no, no one can get over on me, bro. That's how I know. Now that the Lord's with me, and I'm in this new season, I'm telling you, no one can get over me on nothing. That's why. That's why I'm trying to tell, like, inform you people, to not even try me, bro, because you won't get over me on anything. I'm telling you, you're only gonna just put yourself in a pit. You're only gonna just put yourself in a pit, and you see, all these people now. I'm just watching, literally, they can't do nothing, they can't come back, they can't, they can't come in my presence, you know what I mean? They're just watching now, and after, and the thing is, after everything they said and done, and spoke over me, they have to sit back now, and be in that same position that I was in before. The same position where they will ignore me, and treat me like I was no one. It's funny because now... I'm going to treat these people the same way, bro. The same people that put their mouth on me and all these people out of Marielli, I'm going to treat these people the same way and give them nothing, bro. That's what you do. See, these people are going to go through the same cycle and the same phases that we went through in our past. All that trauma, all that hell, all that karma that we went through. You know what I mean? I overcome all my karma. I went through all of my situations that I had to go through for all of the bad things I've done in the past. I've really overcome all of it and left all of that. In the, uh, you know what I mean? It's all done and over with. My karma is burnt from seam retention. Literally, your seam retention burns your karma away. All these people that done me wrong secretly behind closed doors, these people are going to receive karma now. And it, it ain't going to be so funny because 
these people are not as strong as me. These people know they ain't as strong as me, but now they know. They didn't know before, but because how how nice and probably you know what I mean how nice I was to them, but they know now that I'm not a joke and you know what I mean, they ain't as strong as me and they won't be able to do half of the things I can do. And this is why I laugh at these people now because now look, you're gonna have to sit there behind closed doors and watch me for the rest of your life. Because I don't want nothing to do with you people. You gotta understand, I don't want nothing to do with most of these people out here. I'm, literally, I'm sick of these fucking people. Literally, they're all the same. I'm telling you, bro, all these people are the same. It's all just... I'm telling you, bro, people don't even know you, know, and they'll assume all these things about you and all this extra stuff. As I said, I don't know what is, said, what is done and said behind my back, but... I don't even want to deal with no one, but I'm telling you, I don't want to deal with no one, don't bring no one close to me or nothing, but I'm telling you, people out here are just evil, bro. That's why I stay far away from these people, because these people just switch up their attitude, oh, try to come back, but I don't want you back, bro, literally. Go kick crocs now, bro, because I come all this way, I never come all this way to come let everyone back in, like I'm turning on the tap water, bro, you know what I mean? I'm at the point in my journey now where... I'm just letting the Lord just send things into my life and that's it, bro. Because I've got to the point now where I'm done letting people, like, come into my life, just, you know what I mean? Just come into my life and do what they, do what they want to do and speak things over my life. Literally, I'm done with all of this shit. And that's why I'd be wary of who I let around me and who comes around in my presence, literally. I be wary now because I've learned from past experiences already. See, and when you go through past experiences, you'll know what to do now. See, now know what to do now. Not let people close to me. That's what you got to do out here. Once you awaken to your calling, chosen ones, you got to understand to not let these people close to you because you've already seen how much damage they can do. You know what I mean? I've seen how much damage these people can do. Like, even people in my own family said like horrible words to me, shit like this, that, I'm telling you, people will say horrible things, so horrible, horrible things to you from their heart, bro, you got to understand, all them horrible things that people say to you out of their mouth comes from their heart, so you know what I mean? So whatever their mouth speaks, the, whatever the, their mouth speaks, it comes from the heart, bro, you know what I mean? So, shit, I'm telling you, but a lot of people have a lot of hatred in their heart nowadays, because of all of the situations that they go through and they just take it out on others, but I'm telling you. But um Yeah, it's time for these people to go through the same cycles that we went through, you know what I mean? They're gonna be going through it how we went through it. And the thing is, these people won't be able to deal with it this time. They won't be able to deal with it like how I did. See? These people put me through these phases, not knowing that they're gonna have to go through the same thing now. And trust me. <laughs> It ain't gonna be so funny for these people because I'm I'm relentless with it, bro. I'm just gonna keep going and keep going. Trust me, I'm relentless, relentless, bro. I'm not gonna stop either, and that's gonna be the worst part about it. I'm not gonna stop, and it's gonna be even worse on your consciousness and this worse on you in general because now look, see, karma is a bitch, bro. And you thought you can avoid all that karma. You thought you can do all them. Bad, you know what I mean? All them evil things behind my back and feet, you'll get away with it. Trust me, you. I'm telling you, you can never get over me on anything. Even people in games knew this, no. Even when I used to play games back in the day, people knew that they could never get over me on nothing, bro. And I was, a be I was the best at that shit as well. See? And I'm, I'm going to become the best person in reality as well. You're going to understand how powerful I am compared to you. Because you thought you could put your mouth on me only to see... You just fucked yourself up, bro. And the fact, as I said, bro, after everything, nothing even affected me. That's what, that's what I mean. Nothing even affected me. Well, as, you might have affected me mentally. Mentally, you might have affected me because now I'm like, I'm just, I'm just ruthless with it now. Literally, now I've just got zero tolerance for it. nothing, bro. Literally, I'll just, you gave me that kind of attitude now. All these people that put their mouth on me and all these people, now, now I know how all these you people work out here. You just gave me zero tolerance for all of you people now. I'm telling you, bro. You do one sort of thing or anything, but I, I don't care, bro. Any sort of disrespect. I'm telling you, when people disrespect you, learn to just remove these people. Now I've got to the point now on my journey where I just remove people that are just a hindrance to me. 
and are disrespectful, bro. Literally, people don't like to. It's funny because people like to dish out disrespect and dish out all these things, all these things, but don't like to receive the same thing. And you're gonna have to go through the same trials and tribulations I went through, and all of the hardships and all of that karma. See, now you're gonna reap karma. It ain't so funny now, is it? Literally. And this is why I sit back in this laugh now. I'm gonna laugh all the way to where I'm going. And you're not gonna be no part of it. And that's that's the best part about it. You ain't gonna be no part of it. And you had no part of it. Literally. You can't go tell no one that, oh yeah, I helped this guy out with this, I helped this guy out with that. You didn't help out you didn't help out with shit, bro. You're just watching and it's consuming what I'm saying. Literally, I just have to switch up my attitude on these people, bro. Literally. Done giving people nice attitude out here in this, literally, being all friendly. Literally, fuck being friendly, bro. Literally, what do I need to be friendly with you for? And it's crazy. It's like I'm a new character now. It's like everyone out. You know what I mean? It's like I'm a whole new character now. It's like the person I was before is completely gone. You know what I mean? It's like I'm a new, whole, completely different character. And it's like, while you're on... It's like, because I'm on scene retention now, it's like... It's just made me... All the anger that I've got inside me, it's just coming out, bro. You know what I mean? It just comes out in my attitude when I talk and what I say. And this is why I love seeing retention because I don't have to hold back from nothing that I have to say because I don't care about... Nothing out here, bro. I'm telling you. Shit. But yeah, it's, it's time for these people to receive the same treatment that they dished out. You know what I mean? See? For my whole lifetime, people have been... Doing hateful things and sneaky things behind my back. And see, everything's, everything that's happening in the darkness is coming to the light now. Nothing... See, you're learning a big lesson now that doing all these evil things and all these things behind closed doors don't get you far because it will only lead you to end. You, you led yourself into a dead end and your own. you put yourself in your own pit. No one told you to come up against me in the first place. See, this is what I mean about these people. These people wanted to come up against me not knowing the consequences of really coming up against me. Now they do. And now they're in regret because they know how strong I am now. You're gonna know even how much you're gonna know how much more stronger I am because trust me, I ain't gonna give up either. And as I said, bro, I don't give two fucks about none of you people out here, bro, because you don't give. I'm telling you, bro, these people don't didn't care about my feelings or nothing, bro. My, how I'd feel, how they would talk about my back or nothing. I don't have to talk about your back, bro. I said I'll come to the camera, and if you wanna do something in my if you wanna do something in my reality, I know you wouldn't do nothing in my reality, bro. You will see me and just walk past, bro. You won't do shit, and that's what I mean. You love talk, put my name in your mouth. And all this extra shit. But when you see these people, they won't even do nothing, bro. Literally. Fucking cowards, bro. This is what I mean. Literally, I'm done being nice to all these strangers, bro. Literally, do one thing, bro. I'm going to cut your ass off, bro. This is how you got, this how you got to be out here. you got to be... you just got to be like this to people. Because they're just, These people are ruthless out here. You might think I'm ruthless. These people are ruthless, bro. And this is why I'm sick and tired of these people. I ain't dealing with them no more. And this is, why, this is why if you step in my path or step in my way or disrespect me in some sort of way, I'm just going to kick your ass straight out the door, bro. And it's going to be for the rest of your life. Permanent. No more. Second. Third. Oh, my God. Sorry. Literally, I don't care, bro. There is no more chances, bro. Because the amount of hell I've been through in my life, I shouldn't even went through that and I've overcome... All of these situations that all of these people put me through. And I still came out alive till this day. And this is why I'm just pissed, bro. I'm pissed. Because I've made it so far without none of you suckers that put your, put my name in your mouth. But trust me. Ooh, all, them words are gonna, all them words that you spoke over me are going to all pay you back anyway. Because my success is here now. I don't have to look at... Literally... I don't have to deal with none of you people again, and I'm gonna laugh all the way to the sun, all the way to the sun, because I know you ain't gonna be no part of what I have going on, and that's the best part about it. See, this is what I mean. This is why I come online and just come talk online and come be friendly with people online because people online are actually 
they are more supporting than people out in your reality and they're much more just I, I'm telling you bro being on the metaverse is so much more better than dealing with people in your reality because they're just I'm telling you as I said people will show you more support online than out in your reality I'm telling you people out in reality just hate me bro I'm telling you these people out just hate me secretly and just plot evil things behind my back and this is why I don't play around with none of these people bro and as I said I'm telling you, bro, this is why I gotta protect myself out here and always keep my guard up because I don't as I said, I don't know. All of these all of the evil things that these people done to me now is all coming to the surface. You know what I mean? All of the because I'm telling you, bro, everything that these evil people done from the um in the darkness is now coming to the surface and it's, and it's like when I see them now, it's like I have to deal with them. Man. And these people just make my reality ten times worse because then it's affecting my energy and it's affecting me in general, you know what I mean? Literally, i got to be wary about everywhere, p places where I go because I've got to see these same people that have done me wrong again. Fuck, you know me. And the thing is, I never knew how these people worked back in the day, you know what I mean? This is, I was just gullible, bro. This is the worst part about it. I was just gullible and just nice you know what i mean literally i'm done being nice but i'm telling you that cycle's over that character of me being nice is gone this is my new character now man seam retentions made me an angry man i'm telling you this is why you don't want to mess with me i'm telling you you do not want to mess with me it makes you an angry person i've got a lot of anger inside me a lot of testosterone and you don't want to mess with me i'm telling you Chosen ones, you don't have to worry about these people again, because as I said, God came around at the right time and gave these suckers that divine payback. And as I said, bro, I've come so far, and this is why some like even sometimes a tear might even come down in my eye, bro, because of how far I came. You know what I mean? And all of the things that people put me through secretly. But man, I'm telling you, you got to be careful out here. I'm telling you, it's an evil, bro. you got a lot of, you got a lot of malicious people out here, I'm telling you. And yeah, remember, just keep focusing on yourself, chosen ones, and just keep moving ahead in the future because we got bigger things going on for us then these people have, you know what I mean? We left these people in the dust, bro. Literally, these people ate my dust. All these people that done, done all this shit, ate my dust. And they're just looking back from the past, bro, like, wow, this guy is really just left us all behind and he didn't even need us or nothing. That's the crazy bit about it. I didn't even need none of these people. These people really thought I needed them because when I really didn't need them. And this is why I gotta be now. I know to be careful who I pass my energy out to you and who I just, you know what I mean. But man, see, life's a crazy, life's a crazy journey. I had to learn a lot throughout these couple years of these past couple years of just growing up. But you know what I mean? I met, I went through all of that for a reason and it was only to teach me. It was to teach me how these people work and how to deal with things, you know what I mean? But yeah man, fuck. People will reap what they sown. Don't even Dwell on what these people done to you. These people are dwelling what they done for the rest. These people are dwelling what they done to you for the rest of their life because that's gonna be their karma. See, as I said, from the past when these people didn't see us as nothing and didn't care about what they were doing behind our back to us, don't care about what you you do to these people now. I don't give two fucks about these people now. Literally, as I said, bro, and if these people wanna try come back and come back in my way and try to do some bullshit this time, it's gonna be a whole completely different story now because. 
now I know how these people are like. Trust me, I'll just end up just putting one of these cunts in a grave, bro. You know what I mean? Now I know how these people work out here. But yeah. I'm telling you, bro, it can be even be your own people and your family that are going against you. I'm telling you, bro. This ma the matrix is crazy. It's crazy. And this is why you really just gotta pay attention to who you hang around and who you associate yourself with out there because you don't know what kind of energy these people are harboring inside them, bro. You know what I mean? Like, these people could be the most demonic people behind closed doors, but be the most innocent person in front of your face. Man. Shit. Now I know, and I know not to associate myself with this anyone and anyone out here. Literally. It's like I just cut everyone off in the past, bro. It's like, it's like, I just become a whole new character, and it's like, I'm telling you, it's like I'm a whole new character. I'm not even the same person, man. All I know is, is I just love the Lord, bro, literally. Other than the Lord, I don't care about no other soul out here, bro. Literally, the Lord is, is my guardian. Because if it weren't for him, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I, whatever these people sent my way probably would have taken me out, bro, because I was going through so much spiritual warfare and so much spiritual attacks that it probably would have taken me out, bro. I'm telling you, I was going through shit. As I said, I was going through some crazy mental stuff because... Of all of the trauma and stuff that people are putting me through. And I'm still going through it today. I haven't even healed properly yet. You know what I mean? I've only healed a little bit. And you can't heal heal in the same environments that you got hurt in. You know what I mean? So, man, I just try my best. Try to push forward and make shit happen. And that's what I'm doing. And you, as you can see, you, you can see the results coming through. And yeah, man. Only if you, 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 because you're watching me from the outside, you, you don't know what I've really been through. I'm telling you, if you live, if you were in my shoes, you would never have been, you could have never gone through the things that I went through in my life and come out to where I am today and still looking like what I am as well. You know what I mean? People go through less than what I go through and look like they're a 50 year old man when they're like 20 years old. Literally. And the, the best thing, the, the number one thing I learned out here is to never take things personal. That's what I never do. Whenever someone deceives me or something, I never take it personal. I just know not to deal with them like that again. See, because when you take things personal, that's when you start to hold hate for people. Literally, I don't hate no one. I just know not to deal with you because I know how you are, literally. Because people think I hate them. I don't hate no one. Hate's a big word, you know what I mean? Hate's a big word, remember. I just know not to deal with you because I know what you're like. You might not think I know what you're like, but I already know what you're like. And this is why I be careful around people out here. Because they might think they're smart. They, these people think they're so smart, bro. That's what I realise. These people think they're very smart. Only to see I'm smarter than you. And, I, and this is why I love. Because these people thought I was just one fool on some idiot out here. Literally. You think I'm one fool, one idiot. You walk in my traps and you die me. Literally, that's the funny thing. You thought I was an idiot and all this extra stuff, but you walked into my traps and fucked yourself over. Literally, all the people that done me did shit behind closed doors and fucked me over. Literally. Now, you just fucked yourself over and put yourself in a pit that you can't get out of now. And I don't want your ass back either. Literally. You can sit behind closed doors and cry go to sleep, think about me in bed all day. This is what these people are doing now, thinking about me in their bed all day and just crying and waffling to themselves. Why did I do this? Oh my God, this guy, what the hell? How did the Lord come for this guy? Fucking hell, man. Man. This is why this is why I always tell you to never give too much attention out to people and always give it to the Lord and yourself only. Because see, imagine if I gave all my attention to all of these people out here still, 
these people still would have been doing the same thing by my back. And I'm so happy that I started to focus on myself and started to pull back the energy from these people because I never knew how much energy I was passing out to these people and actually putting into myself. So now that I took all the energy back from these people, it's like now they're fully disconnected from me and there's a boundary between me and them now and they know it and I know it. And this is why... This, that's exactly what I wanted to do, bro. Set boundaries for these people. That's what you got to do. Set boundaries so they can... But to the point where if they cross you again, you just remove them. You know what I mean? And they'll know what time it is that time. Literally, these people know what time it is, time it is when it comes to me and it comes to me now because they know I ain't playing with them no more. Literally. Now I know where niceness get, gets you. All it, all it, I'm telling you, bro. Niceness only gets you a bunch of... A bunch of hate behind your back, bro. That's, this is why I tell you not to be so nice to everyone and everyone out here because there's a lot of malicious people, but I'm telling you. And as I said, these people done it to a lot of people. That's just why they keep doing it, bro. They, they've done it to a lot of people in the past. And as I said, they thought they, these people thought they can keep doing it and try... And the funny thing is they thought they could try to come across me. Oh, my God. These people are learning to never cross me again, bro. Never. And it's funny, these people call me disrespectful and all of this, um, you're disrespectful, rude, stuff like this, but where's that same talk when you're talking behind me, behind my back and saying these things to my face and just doing all this extra stuff? Where's this same talk now? You know what I mean? And this is why... This is, this is why... You know what I mean, bro? These people d said all these things and all this, all this stuff, all this rude, all this rude shit... Only to sit back and have to see God exert me right in front of them and just be left in the dust. Man, fuck these people, you know what I mean? Shit. But man, I'm just going to keep moving forward. And I'm going to drop two uploads today, so stay tuned for the second one. But man, it's over for these people. They've been defeated. And now we can sit back and <laughs> clap your hands with these people. These people left, these people drove themselves into a dead end. You know what I mean? And they know it now and they're reaping that karma. I'm telling you, you, you believe karma now, don't you? You're watching this video and you believe karma. See, karma is a real thing. This, this is why you got to watch you put your mouth on, you fool. Literally. Because as I said, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have put my mouth on these people, but fuck that, bro. Literally, I don't care, bro. Literally, I'll put my mouth on anyone out here. I don't care. Literally, I'll cut you off, do anything, bro. Literally, you put your hands on me, I'm going to just take you out, bro. I'm telling you. I have no... I'm, re I'm just going to be relentless with these people, bro. Because they're evil, bro. Evil suckers. Fucking low vibrational fools. And you might, you might hear my frustration, bro, because I've been through so much. These people put me through so much hell, bro. You know what I mean? So much spiritual warfare, spiritual attacks. The people that are coming around my face, um, being one way and one way behind my back. I should knock these people out, bro. As I said. As I said, but I'm pulling my energy back from anyone, everyone. And I'm only giving it to myself and... The people that the people that God sent into my life only, because people out here are ninjas. They're like ninjas, bro. Shit. And I'm so happy I came to all of this knowledge while I was young. Imagine, imagine if I was getting older and these people are still doing the same things to me. I'm so happy I learned from young how these people really are, how these Decepticons and all of these bots out out here are. Because if I didn't learn from young, then I would have been going through hell in my older years. But at least, at least I know now, and I've woken up to how this world really is. And I'm actually so happy, literally. I'm, so, I'm happy for everything that everyone put me through out there, because now it has made me even stronger, made me more wiser, and this made me tougher, literally, I'm just so tough now, you made me mentally, you made me mentally tougher, spiritually tougher, especially spiritually, you made me so much more spiritually tougher, and 
and it's when people send spiritual warfare my way now this time all these all these negative attacks i can just deflect all of these because I've, my arm is too it's too hard to penetrate you can't penetrate me of words or nothing you can't get to my feelings in any way or you can't get to me in no way i'm telling you that you already know you've been defeated you can't get to me in no way but i can get to you that's the thing I, i'm getting to these people now these people thought they were getting to me i'm getting to you now and trust me i'm gonna be relentless with it you you watch and see you i'm gonna be your worst nightmare i'm gonna be some of you's worst nightmare you uh, you're gonna be my worst nightmare i'm telling you you're gonna think about me your sleep for the rest of your life and i'm gonna laugh man but stay tuned for the second one today and i'm out peace